Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 11 of the Aqua Top and White Sands. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, this is just Florida because it is currently raining right now. Hell, honestly, that looked like a hurt. Yeah, that's a hurricane. Come on now. Yeah, she got it. True. But there's nothing else like you can really do, Coco. We need a miracle today. That's all. She closed the other entrances too. Damn. She was like, nope. <laughs> uh. Even if you call her, she's not going to answer. I don't know, honestly. But she's going to be stuck in there. Yeah. 
And you might as well stay there because you're gonna. Because you love her so freaking much. Gotta be with your girlfriend. But the thing is, like, is Kukuru gonna let her in? That's the hardest thing. What's wrong? Come on! No! No, to be with you. One you need to eat. <laughs> Heck, I'm hungry too, but I ain't gonna be able to eat until like <laughs> three thirty, four o'clock. This we gotta watch Love Live after this. Some sweet potato fries. Because that is honestly what I've been craving. <laughs> oh. Honey. Oh God, that is Florida in a nutshell. And God, no hurricanes have come. Like really bad hurricanes have come to us yet. No. Exactly. <laughs> so just let her stay. But it is her business. Well, yeah, now the power is out. What you gonna do? (laughs) 
True. God, this seems really bad. Like, mm. the way it's going, that would be like, for me, a category five.
This episode is so fucking sad. Uh -huh. No. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. You did a good a blah, blah, I can't speak. You did a good job up until the end. Oh hi. It's okay. A lot of people say things that they're not proud of when they're upset.
God, that really hurt. Woo, this was a really sad episode. I mean, especially for Kukuru, because she's she's now officially lost everything. And it makes you wonder, like, God, man, because this... <laughs> I don't think the show is ending next week. I think it is, but then at the same time, I think it isn't. I have to check before um, I watch Love Live Superstar. But if it does end next week, I get it. I understand why there possibly isn't, like, maybe a second half. But I think, from what I remember, there's supposed to be 24 episodes of this show. But if it's not, I get it. I, I just, I feel so bad for her. She tried her hardest every single freaking week to save this place that she really, truly cared about. And with this typhoon coming, which felt to me felt like a damn hurricane here in Florida, um... And knowing that something that you deeply cared about ran its course and you have to move on and that is officially closing and everything. Yeah, of course you're you're upset. Anyone's going to be upset about that. And I, I love the fact that Fuka came and comforted her because, I, hell, I love the fact that, you know, she came to help her. Even though at first, like, Kukuru was like, I don't want nothing to do with you. I don't want you here. I want you to go back home and stay home. And then eventually everyone else came. To just be there one final time. It is truly sad. And I hate the fact that it's, you know, ending for her. Because this has been her home away from home. After losing her parents and living with her grandparents. And every single time how she was like, I'm going to go home. And how her grandparents, like, always told her, this is your new home. This is where you're currently staying. You have to stay here. She found something or like a salvation in Gama Gama. And so now that that is officially gone, she only has her grandparents' place for her to just feel home again. But because of the fact is with Gama Gama, she was always able to see um, her parents there. And now that it's gone, she only has memories. And that's like... It's the saddest thing for anyone, especially when you, whether you lose a family member, a pet, whoever, even seeing like, um, clothes they used to wear, like for me with my dogs, um, I still have one out of my two dogs, uh, cause I, I have a new dog, that's Cody, um, I have some of their stuff still. I have Yanni and Kiana's, that was their names, um, their sweaters, their coats, um, an old dog bowl that Cody uses whenever we go somewhere on a trip. And I, I think for that first year after, I still had Yana, um, Kiana passed away first, so, because we had to put her down because of reasons and stuff. That first year was, like, really hard for me to get through. Plus the fact is I was moving and everything was coming up a little too fast. And then almost a year later, um... A year, I mean, maybe a year and a month later, Yana passed away, and I was officially alone. Even though I had my mom, and any time when my mom wasn't home, I just felt lonely. And those little like things where you know you go into the kitchen and they follow you into the kitchen, and you like those. And when they're not around, there were times where like I would just walk into the kitchen and I'm not hearing like the pitter-patter of feet behind me and I broke down and I cried and for the longest time like any time when I was at home I always wanted another dog and thank god we got Cody. Cody Cody reminds me 100% like he is just my, my two previous dogs reincarnated because he looks like my uh, he looks like Kiana he acts like Yanni and Kiana. He does, like, the funniest things just like them. And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, you are just Yanni and Kiana re reincarnated except you're a boy <laughs> and such. And he looks at me like, are you, like, what? <laughs> like, he's so adorable. But, yeah, I really, like, feel for Kukuru because she's officially lost everything. And, I, whoa, God, I don't know how this show is going to end, truly. But other than that, guys, that is where I actually view towards episode 11 of the Aqua Top and White Sand. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next, I'm about to say Wednesday, Thursday for episode 12. Bye, guys.